I work the morning shifts, the 545 shifts, I come in and I give a quote. Um, one was, the tragedy in life does not lie in not reaching your goal, it lies in not having a goal to reach. You know, because a lot of them, they don't know what they want to do. I said, but you just got to have something. Just say, this is what I want to try to reach for. I need somewhere that's going to make me more mature than what I already am. So I wanted to come to Lincoln Challenge and I signed up for it. I looked at it and it said military and I knew I needed structure in my life, something that could keep me grounded to what I need to do. One day I was in Chicago and my mom, I came home and my mom was like, you're going to Lincoln Challenge. And I'm like, what's that? And then she was like, it's a school where you go, you graduate, you get your GED. Well, one of my friends came here and he, like, he had a really bad path. And I saw that it straightened him up, so I'm like, I should give it a try. My father heard about it, and he just told me, hey, um, you should get your GED, this, this, and that, because school wasn't really that interesting or intriguing. And like, I didn't really connect with um, high school. Like, I, I, I did enough to like, get past, but I never really connected with it. So he said, you should get your GED and you know, become a man and start making your career and your life. I, I ended up catching two more illegal consumption tickets, and the judge basically told me if if you don't straighten up, you're, you're getting out of here. Well, I had court the 17th of the month that I left, and the month we left the 12th. So my mom and I got to call the judge and say, you know, hey, Mr. Mathena won't be at court today because uh, he's in process of the Lincoln's challenge. The most challenging uh, thing for the cadets is coming here to a structured environment. Uh, several of them come from uh, environments where there's very little structure, if any. Um, they've been doing what they've been doing for years and we're just trying to get them basically to a different, a new frame of mind and a structured environment to get them to a better point in their life where they understand structure uh, and the ability to follow as well as lead. Ninety percent of our population that we get here in the academy has been beaten down all of their lives. They practically raised their own self. Mom is off working two jobs. Dad is nowhere working to be found, of just vice versa. And here, and and here is the young man or the young lady just trying to find somebody to connect with. Right now, it's the world against y'all. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't know about this place. Yeah, they probably told y'all that this place was for just for bad kids. Oh, y'all not bad. There, there is not a bad cadet that come here. There are some cadets that come here that need a lot of guidance, a lot of challenges. And if we can get those individuals just to look down the road, just beyond the 10 feet in front of them, they'll do great things. Well, I guess my, my reason for coming here was to be able to show the kids that um, things will happen in your life. You just got to use them as a step stool and keep going. You know, and sometimes the people that you feel like won't understand, they might, and just listen to some of the suggestions they have. Because they, some people are, are honestly say, I don't understand, I haven't been through it, but I can show you better ways to keep moving forward. We want to teach them life coping skills, and we want to help them get a GED, or at least go two grades above what they came with. And if they don't get all their classes, I mean all their tests done, then of course this boosts them where they can only have to take a few tests when they leave. Or they can have the opportunity at 16 years old, if they get your GED here, to go to community colleges and start two years ahead of their peers. Uh, what we really just start with giving them the ground rules. Hey, this is how you do this, and you just first start out teaching them. You can't hold the kid accountable for not standing at attention if you haven't taught them how to stand at attention or even why. Talking about how all these little things really add up and create for a very smooth running team. Um, give them the idea of, hey, soon there's going to be leadership. So we teach them all the basics of drill and ceremonies. We teach them about proper etiquette in the chow hall. We have all these, about 30 different blocks of instruction that we go through uh, during the selection process and free challenge. And that's getting them acclimated to the military culture and our atmosphere and teaching them all the basics uh, that it takes to function while they're here. Oh, well, when I first, I like to, when we first pick them up, because I'm a very tall, <laughs> kind of big girl, so... The kids are terrified of me when they first see, first see me, and that's like so much fun, 
you know, because they don't know I'm a soft cookie, so <laughs> so they terrified of me. First day is um, like uh, there was 62 girls here, and I was like in a new environment. And I was like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this because they were yelling at us and telling us what to do, and I'm like, I want to go home already. But then I kept thinking, like, no, I have to stay here, finish, and. I thought it was going to be really hard. I mean, it is hard, but not as hard as I thought it would be. I remember walked away and you turned around. You got to see him to him. It was, it was different. Yes, sir, it was. But I adapted to it, and I, I'm just taking every day as it comes. My first day, um, like I was, I was just like observing, and I was like, I took a lot to myself. Like, I just kept on thinking, like, to myself about my future, um, like, my past, like, now that I'm here, like, um, one thing that really went through my head when I got here was, like, like life in general is, like, it, it catches up quickly. And that growing up, like, all my, child's, all my childish games ended pretty quick. Like, as soon as I talked to my cadre, I had that vibe where everything that I've ever known or done is out the window. And that this is like, this is gonna be my step to become a man. Sir, cannon three, sir. Sir, cannon a four, sir. Well, the classrooms here, they break it down so you can understand. And if like you're behind, they'll help you like get with everyone. And the teachers are really nice. They actually pay attention to you. They get you into it. They, I expect them to when we're doing classes, ask questions and have us actually answer it and have us figure out the problem instead of them telling us what the problem is and how to do it and not just telling us how to do it, let us do it, let us figure it out. But I also like to go to school and put my nose in that book and do what I had to do to make my parents proud. But the academic part, the teachers work with you, they're pretty cool and then the, the instructors here, I mean, they'll help you if you ask for help. Well, I wanted the disciplined military training, and I wanted to be able to go to the Marines with a nice college credit hours or college credits. I want to be a self-disciplined person. Like, I don't want to keep being disrespectful. I just want to learn some self-control. I want to get my GD, and I want to go to high school, and I want to be, I like science, so I want to be a forensics teacher. And I want to get that job so I can help my mom out and get out of where she is. What brought me here the most is that I needed structure in my life in the military. I've never really had discipline in my life, so I've never had someone actually tell me, no, you can't do something. And I've always had people tell me that you will never make it here, you will never make it there, you'll never go into the military because you're this or you're that. I just want to prove them wrong. Say, hey, I did make it. I am in the military. I did complete Lincoln's Challenge Academy. You know, you got to have self-discipline, and I, I figured, like, one of the other cadets that was sitting in this chair that I'm sitting in now was like, I figured it was someone in my face screaming and yelling. And during school, I had a problem with insubordination big time because if someone told me something to do it, I I wouldn't do it just to piss them off, you know. So other than that, the Lincoln's Challenge has taught me the self-discipline. And when someone says do it, you know, when, just like my father would say, when someone says jump, you say how high. You know the utilize, understand? Yes, sir. You can lead the horse to water, but you can't make them drink kind of thing. You can give them a, a disciplined structure and you can give them equitable, equitable um, discipline and, and rewards and punishments. Uh, you can send them to school, they can pass all their tests, but truth is, are they really catching it or are they just figuring out how to just float through, stay on the down low and get out? So everything that I'm learning here, like parade rest, um, position of attention, um, how to march, how to get into the chow line, um, how to talk to uh, authority and how to talk to my peers it makes me like think I, I'm actually happy like after pre-challenge I didn't see it but I'm actually happy I came here. It's been good to not homesick and rather be here than there. Well I love Sundays going to church enjoying church having a relaxed day then Monday come all the way up to Saturday physical fitness school uh, 
any other activity that the cadres have for us. It's Lincoln's challenges. I mean, a lot of people might think it's you know junk, this and that. They they hate you, but really not. They're 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 trying to put the right shoes on the right feet and get you out of here. Like Captain always says, he can lead a horse to the water, but he can't make him drink. And I'm starting to realize that right now. But I tell you what, I got thirsty and I started drinking. I can make it through this program. It's not hard, and sometimes it's not easy. But you just gotta push yourself, and I can do that. Yeah, I'd rather be here than than be home at the moment. Like, so when I go home, I, when I go home, I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna be one of the best around me. I'm very motivated and I have a lot of people that support me and I feel like as long as I have support, then I feel like I can do anything. Like, the test was exactly how like he explained it would be and prepared us exactly what we needed to do. And, um, on our floor, yeah, on our floor, we did a whole bunch of like studying in the day room. And we was able to have like study groups, have partners, and everything. So for my first test, I did pretty good, and I was one question short for a perfect test. They actually break down what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it, and then we do it as a class, and then we do it individually, and then we go over it, the problem as a whole group, and then we see what we, what's our strength and what's our weakness, and we work on both of them. It was good. I have a really good teacher, and I wouldn't trade him. Cause he like he breaks it down, and even if like we raise our hand, and then even though he went over it, he'll go over it again until we get it. So I like that. I'm really good at reading, so I didn't really have a problem with it. But I know when math comes along, I'm gonna need a lot of help. For it. But I know my teacher will help me. Well, the military prep program is a program that's going to be geared toward those cadets that come here that have already made a commitment to themselves that they want to pursue a military career in some aspect, whether it be Army, Air Force, Marines, or Navy. Uh, we're going to put them in the best position that we can to make sure that they are availed the opportunity to join the military service and serve as, in a, as a career. Uh, Counselor Jones, you know, he caught my eye and he talked, he had a talk with me the other day and he's talking about me, you know, if I stay on the right foot and do what I got to do that, me being uh, the commander of the military club. Uh, we do like boot camp workouts. We also have classes, I believe Fridays, and we do physical fitness. Well, the military prep program is not only just to gear those, you know, that are, that are interested in a military career, it's to kind of build a program so everyone else can see that this is not just an academy where kids come to get yelled at and disciplined. We're trying to put together programs that's going to benefit the most for these cadets and put them at a greater advantage when they leave here at Lincoln's Challenge. When you get into the GED room, first we have to all line up and we all just like talking to each other. We um, yesterday, me and the close, some, some of my close teammates, we actually we was talking to each other about the test. We saying that we was nervous, this, this, and that. And as they call the names, you get even more nervous because you know your name's gonna be the second or third to come. And we all actually got together and we like did a little prayer, saying you know pray for me and all that. And we actually studied pretty, pretty long for this test. We did an essay, a pretest the day before. And then when you finally get into the room. Everything like attacks, like all the nervousness attacks you again because you're not with your um, same teachers and instructors. I'm nervous, but when I get in the testing room, I think I'm gonna do good. So it felt pretty intense until you actually answer the first question. As soon as you answer the first question, all that nervousness goes away because you realize that the classwork that we've been doing has been harder than the test itself. Um, I prepared by reading books like as much as I could in and out of class. And I was confident going in there because I knew my teacher taught me like what I needed to know. It's like a state of mind that you have to have is just stay focused, think about you know your future during like while, while I'm at the during the test I have to think about like this is gonna affect my future. First, I was not used to none of the cadre. I did not know too many people on this team. I knew some of them from the area I live at. 
And every day I just got used to the schedule. Once I got used to the schedule, I just started adapting to everything else we do. I know my captain, I know all my cadre. It's getting a little easier, well not easier, but I can mm, stay with it more and keep up. Here I guess everybody kind of just thought we were like dropouts, but we're making something out of ourselves now. They gave me the structure I needed in my life. Uh, yeah, they're going to push you and pull you to the direction that you need to be, and they're not going to stop even though you don't like the way they're doing it. But it's going to help you in the long run. I mean, you're going to actually realize at some point, okay, hey, this is what they're trying to do. I realize that I can do this, and it's not as hard as it thinks. I mean, for any other cadet that comes here, I mean, at first it looks like it's going to be hard. It's not. All you have to do is listen and do what you're told. I mean, it's, it's really not that hard to pass this program. I mean, a bunch of people come in here whining and complaining, you know, hey, I want to go home, and this isn't fair, this is going to be hard, I don't like this. Sometimes you just got to look forward. I used to sit and come here to march around and seeing cadences and then be on a team. I said I just came here for my GED, but little do I know it was helping me, it was preparing me for the real world to get along with people because I'm going to have a job I got to work with like more than 100 employees. So The hard part about it is being away from family for so long. Yeah, you get visitations and then you get those two passes, but when you're at the most difficult point realizing why you're there and it all hits you in reality, it's like you don't have that person right next to you to help you. And that was the hardest part for me, is being away from family. Oh, how does it feel to be at graduation? Oh my, like, man, it's uh, the whole bus right here, man, everyone was sleeping and I'm just, I was just smiling, you know, just, like, it almost brought tears to my eyes just to see my family, you know, I mean, I just knew they'd be happy and I just see my mom, she started crying, you know, she said, you know, if, she never seen me in a cap and gown before, and she probably never would if I wouldn't have came here. So I'm going with school. I, I feel like I accomplished so much stuff that it's just an amazing feeling. It feels perfectly fine. I mean, it's, it's fun. It's, it feels wonderful. I didn't think that I would like it or enjoy it, but uh, it feels pretty good. It feels so good. I'm so proud of myself. Like, I never thought I could accomplish anything. This is the first thing I accomplished. It feels good. It feels amazing to graduate. I mean, it's the most exciting feeling. Um, honestly, when I first walked through the door, I mean, I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it was. And about three weeks in, I knew I was going to make it. You know, one way or the other, I wasn't going to get kicked out. You know, I've, I'm, I mean, my parents back there looking at me right now, smiling, and just, just to see them happy again, it's just, man, it feels accomplishing. My teachers, my lieutenants helped me make it through this class a lot and my, the fellow cadets also. My mom and my son, because it was just like motivation. Like I know that I had to come here and be a better person for my son. And my mom, I didn't want to keep disappointing her. Um, definitely my brother, he did. He helped me through everything and uh, supported me through everything. And it was him who, if it, if it wasn't for him, I would have made it. I, all I did was pray. I failed the first time and I just kept praying. I prayed even harder and I had a passion. God honestly did. I got accepted to college already, and I'm going to work part-time. I plan to go to AmeriCorps. Uh, I plan on going to Indianapolis and going to ROTC there for a couple of years until I get my uh, 12 college credits to sign up for the Marines and be an officer in the Marines for 29 years. My plan is to go to college and uh, from there try to get into criminal law and justice. I plan on working for six months, and then when the May entry for our institute comes up, I plan on entering the Art Institute for four, for four years and then, you know, masters, bachelors, everything after. Uh, I actually plan to go 11 Bravo in the United States Army, serve my country, just follow my big brother's footsteps, make my family proud and just do what I got to do to survive. I feel like Lincoln's Challenge helped me a lot, accomplish my goals, getting my education and everything. I'm proud I came to Lincoln's Challenge Academy. I always just wanted to be like my brother, so yes, I mean, Lincoln's Challenge did put an input on this, but. I've always wanted to go to the Army, and I'm going to further do my career and go to the United States Army. But it's just that I didn't think that I'd get my GED because I hate math, and I, shock, I was shocked that I had uh, passed math, but I did, and I have my GED. It's not hard making it through the program. All you have to do is do what you're told. <laughs> it's as easy as that. Keep your head up. Keep praying. Uh, find an individual that is not 
not like the real world and make them your battle buddy and stick through it. You can make it. It's not hard. When you when the end comes today, you're gonna you're not even gonna know it's really here. Don't even feel like it's here, but it is. It's gonna be hard. There's gonna be nights that you can't sleep. You're thinking about home, and you're gonna want to quit. There's gonna be a whole bunch of times you're gonna want to quit. But trust me, it's you don't want to quit. It's it feels good being here. It's it's worth it's worth all everything.